So I'm here today to talk about the Cypress SPX 1300. I'm just going to get a typical access control panel and a typical card reader. And it's connected by five wires, which typically are weakened signals. So we have two data signals and one LED signal uh, coming from the panel. Just for a test, we have it on uh, about a foot and a half a wire. So obviously, when you want to install this in the field, uh, we're not going to be 18 inches away from the panel. Uh, it could be two miles away, for example. One of the problems with Wiegand is the fact that it's unsupervised. In other words, you don't know that the communication to the reader has been lost between the panel and reader until you try to use it and it fails. One of the advantages of the SPX 1300 is it adds that supervision. So for that alone, it's sort of worth introducing that into your, your wiring plans. By placing the SPX 1300 modules, one is labeled the central unit, and that would go with the panel side, connected to the panel. And this is the remote side that would be at the door or gate and be connected to the reader. The advantage of the SPX 1300 is the fact that you only need four wires to go the largest distance. You may have a few inches of wire going to the reader, a few inches of wire going to the panel, but in between you can have 10,000 feet of four wire. So some power and twisted pair communication. Now, if you have power out at the remote site, at the gate or the door, then you can use local power as well. Now, once the SPX 1300 is in place, uh, you notice there's a lot more connectors than uh, are needed just for a reader. That's because you have other things out at the door or the gate. You have, for example, a door lock. The whole purpose of Getting the credential read is to probably unlock the door or raise the gate. Likewise, there may be a request to exit and also a door position switch out at that remote location. And all of that has to be brought back to the panel, traditionally home run. So at the end of the day, there may be as many as 12 wires traveling this large distance. You can still do that over a single twisted pair. Or as I said, if you want to run power out to that location, then it would be four wires. So the SPX 1300, the name SPX, uh, Supervised Reader Extender, the supervision and also extending that read distance. And then you also have all the I.O. at the door. The SPX 1300 is designed to accommodate many different types of readers, the most common being Wiegand, but it can also do strobed uh, F2F and uh, biometric readers as well. The beauty of it is that the control panel doesn't realize that it's going through some media conversion. As far as it's concerned, it thinks it's directly connected to the rear.